Welcome, class. Welcome, class. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey of Chef Jeffrey's Kitchen. I want to say that I'm grateful to have you here. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. I will be releasing a lot more videos like this around digestion, weight loss, and balance when it comes to fitness and nutrition. Low stomach acid, we're gonna jump right into it. If you are experiencing gas, bloating, acid reflux, it might actually not be that you need to take an acid reducer such as Prilosec, Pepsid AC. Taking acid reducers is actually the opposite of what we wanna do. We actually want to increase hydrochloric acid or stomach acid in the stomach so that we can properly digest proteins. And I'm gonna get into the science behind this. So what is hydrochloric acid or stomach acid, HCL? What does it do? What are its roles? So one of the main roles of HCL is proteolysis or protein breakdown. In the stomach, we have what's called gastric acid. Gastric juices are made up of hydrochloric acid and an enzyme called pepsinogen. When there is an acidic enough environment, hydrochloric acid reacts with pepsinogen to create pepsin. Pepsin is the enzyme that we need in order to break proteins down into small peptides. These proteins are broken down into small peptides and then these peptides are able to perform different functions in the body and do what protein does in the body. So if we are not producing enough stomach acid, what may happen is gas bloating. We also may not be digesting proteins and they may be going into the gut and actually sitting there undigested and fermenting, which is why your gas smells absolutely horrible if you have low stomach acid. These are actually fermented, undigested proteins that are sitting in the stomach. That's why they can actually produce gas and bloating and cause a lot of discomfort. So now that we've gotten into the science behind low stomach acid and why having adequate levels of stomach acid is good, now we're going to go into how do you test to see if you have low stomach acid. The first way to test is going to be using a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, which you're going to mix a quarter teaspoon of baking soda in water in about four to six ounces of cold water and go ahead and drink that down. Set a timer on your phone for around three minutes. If you burp within that first three minutes, and I'm not talking about little belches, but I'm talking about an actual burp within those first three minutes, then you have adequate levels of stomach acid. If it takes longer than three minutes or you do not belch at all, then what's happening is you do have hypochloridia or low stomach acid, okay? So if you have hypochloridia, these proteins are fermenting in the gut and you wanna get into treatment, okay? Now there's other ways to treat low stomach acid, but a cost-effective and very efficient way that I have found personally is doing hydrochloric acid HCL plus pepsin treatment. Now, what you wanna do here is you actually wanna start with two to three tablets of 650 milligrams of HCL, and you wanna take two to three tablets before a high protein meal. That is a meal containing at least 30 grams of protein, okay? Now, if you take those two or three pills and after your meal, you feel some heartburn, then what you wanna do is at your next meal, you wanna reduce it by one pill. If you don't feel anything, you don't get heartburn, you wanna increase it by one pill and keep increasing it by one pill per meal until you are able to feel a warmness or heartburn type feeling. Once you feel that heartburn type feeling, you actually want to back off one tablet and stay at this amount of tablets until you start feeling the heartburn again. And then you want to back off one tablet 
pack off one tablet. So some people can take as much as eight to 10 to 12 tablets before they start to feel that heartburn type feeling. This means that you have really low stomach acid and that you definitely are gonna benefit from taking HCL with pepsin, all right? So the goal is to keep taking it and keep taking it and wean yourself off of the pills as you go so that after time you actually don't need any HCL and pepsin. And once you only have to take one or two tablets, you're actually okay to stop treatment. All right, and what you're gonna find is that this is going to fix your gas and bloating. This is going to increase the amount of protein that your body can absorb. This is going to help you in so many ways if you struggle with digestion. And so many people are walking around with low stomach acid and they have no idea. Hopefully this video explains to you a little bit more about what's going on so that you can fix your hypochloridia or low stomach acid and start digesting food better. All right. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps small channels like mine get seen and get our names out to the public so that more people can get some help that they need when it comes to health, fitness, nutrition, digestion, all that good stuff. And keep it tuned for more content coming soon, guys. All right. <laughs>